right? Beautiful hinterland. I have with me the Genesis 220 mid door. Been living in them for the last month. Sam and I and Ted been on the road, went all the way down the east coast, across the Kosciuszko National Park, and then back around through the Riverland over to Melbourne and then back up the east coast again. So we've given it a good run, really good run. You know, we've done nearly something like close to 20,000 k's. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick a GoPro on my head so that you guys get a literal point of view walkthrough of the van. So here we go. Come along for the ride. Okay, so I'm gonna run you through the inside first. So you've got here, as you walk in the door, you've got your battery management system. You see here, it's getting 1.5 amps on the roof. We've got the solar panel running. It is currently in sort of semi-shade. So um, that's why we're only getting one amp, but it's still got 17 hours left in it. So if you look, we've got all these lights running, LED strip lighting, which I love. These LED lights don't take much charge, right? You've got your north-south facing bed, which I really like. Plenty of cupboard space, beautiful couch, more cupboard space. You got your bunks for the three rat bags, more storage, and in here, little washing machine, which let me tell you, is a lifesaver with a baby. A lot of poo explosions. In here, hello everyone. In here, got your toilet, vanity, and then in here, got your shower. And there's plenty of space in there, plenty of space. Like, there's heaps of room in there. Right, so that's the bathroom, plenty of storage in the bathroom, more lights, which are great. Uh, this is a three-way fridge by Dometic. Beautiful fridge. Um, gets really cold really quick. So th by three-way, I mean it runs on battery, gas, or 240. Um, you've got your cooktop here. It's also fantastic. Been really good. Like, we've loved it. We're not amazing cooks, but I whipped up a couple of storms. Um, obviously, you've got your overhead fan. Little oven. I cooked roast veggies in there, you know. These are the sorts of things you can do. Got the table here, good table. Bed's super comfy. More storage under here. You can see the um, the uh, all the battery and electrical gas set up under there. Yeah, so we've loved it. We've loved living in here. Um, it's been super comfortable. You know, we're a family of three with a baby living in a caravan and it's super comfy. You know, there's enough space that you don't feel like you're on top of each other. You can sit here, do a bit of work. Um, it's honestly, it's it's been like unreal. This, this van is so beautiful. I feel very grateful. Super comfy. I love these little storage pockets with little charging points. Like, see there you got your 12 volts. And your 240 all around. Those charging points are everywhere. Um, under there too. Yeah, it's honestly, it's been wonderful. Okay, so we're towing through the hinterland at the moment, right? These are sort of quite windy, uh, can be steep roads. Um, the Isuzu's towing it perfectly. The van, now this is something interesting, right? I've not felt a van tow this stable of this size myself, right? And I think that comes down to the suspension. So the suspension itself, actually, do you know what? I'm not even going to explain it. I'm going to throw, throw to Geordie back in the caravan. Mate, you take it away. Uh, hi, Geordie. Yes, thank you. Um... I'll run them through that. You're doing a great job, by the way. So, I'm going to explain to you the IRS suspension on this caravan. As you can see, we're running a dual axle here. This is suspension like I've never seen before. So, basically, to simplify, 
there is a rubber shaft that runs right the way through here and twists here like a big rubber cylinder that pivots at each wheel which gives the effect of a sort of independent suspension it's something I've never heard of before. It's called IRS suspension, right? I believe it was developed in Germany. While I've got you, I'll run you through a few more stats. We can read through them together on the Genesis 220 Windsor. Okay, so you can see here there's a couple of different palettes you can go with. We got the Niccolo Pine, uh, which has been beautiful different floor plan setups you can look at there okay so the body length is 6880 overall length that's including the drawbar I'm assuming is 83 overall height 29 so your tear weight 233 ATM weight 2950 okay so you're pushing that three ton there Another thing about this caravan is it is surprisingly manoeuvrable. Like I'm pulling a 22 foot, you know, roughly two and a half ton van and it does not feel like it. I'm pulling it into this tight little campground and it is doing phenomenally well. It doesn't feel like its size. That can come down to a couple of things, right? This van doesn't have a framework. Now I know that's a weird thing to say or understand, but it is built with this composite material that is both the external and internal wall. So its structure comes from its walls. Now what that means is, a couple of things. It's extremely light for its size. What it also means is, it is not top heavy. There is no weight in the top end of this caravan. So what that means is there's no top heavy side to side action. Hey Jordy, you got me there in the van, mate? Yeah, fantastic. I'm going to get you to explain to the people the what the walls are made out of on this caravan. I was lucky enough to be taken into the factory. Okay, and walked through this caravan, the construction of it, how it works. They build them from the inside out. Right, so they start with all the cabinetry, obviously there's the chassis, and then they build the floor, and then the cabinetry, and then the walls come on after, right? So this wall is doesn't have a frame in it, right? Which makes it super light. The framework and strength comes from this composite material, which is basically two layers of a plastic with a, den a high density foam in the middle which creates your insulation, which is fantastic. Good noise proofing, nice and quiet in here. We've had a screaming baby on the road for the last month and no complaints from Caravan Park members so far. So obviously what that means is it's very light up this top, top end. Thanks, Geordie. The stability when towing this van, I think comes down to a few things, right? It can be the load of the van. It can be the load in the ute. It can be the tire pressures. It can be how full your water tanks are. There's a lot of different variables in stability. However, I've been towing this van for a month, loaded, unloaded, still feels solid. Another great thing about this caravan is the amount of ground clearance it's got. So that makes a huge difference when you're traveling through roads like this. Now for a van that's technically not considered to be an off-road van or a semi-off-road van, it handles these roads beautifully. Like, it's so solid, there's no bouncing around, there's no waving around. To add to the conversation about suspension, right, a lot of the caravans, particularly of this 22 foot, around that 22 foot size, depending on their ball weight, depending on a lot of things. I've driven a lot of vans with a lot of trailer sway, is what I'm gonna say. 
this caravan. Touch wood, so far we've been in it for a month, been all down the east coast, over the mountains, back again. I've not experienced trailer sway in towing this caravan. Obviously, it's a fantastic looking van, beautiful. Genesis 220, mid door. You've got your gas bottles here. Runs on just your regular road hitch. Um, you can get that swapped out. It's on a 12 pin plug. Great, got a good stone guard, really good stone guard. Um, it's running on 15 inch rims. So gas hot water here. You have got here water tank filling points um, of which you have two water tanks. Um, this is pressurized water straight off the street. So you've got pressurized water in here. This is an outdoor shower, fantastic. In here is where your fridge is, your power inlet. Um, these are the windows for all the rugrats. Uh, back end, fairly self-explanatory. Um, big awning, really nice big awning. Um, your toilet canister in here, bathroom window, lounge room window. This is a little fold-out table um, with outlets for television, charging points, antenna point. If you want to set up a telly just here um, 240 volt outlet uh, front boot space again so under here you know heaps of room heaps and heaps of room down the end there you can probably see um, the battery so basic but does the job means it's accessible as well um, you can get to the battery if you need to. But rather than, a lot of vans have them set up underneath here somewhere in front of the wheels or behind the wheels. What that means is they can cop a lot of stones. Whereas in here it's locked up, it's sealed, doesn't get damaged. This is a gas outlet if you want to run a little outdoor barbie. Good looking van. It's been fantastic. Other thing I like, the water pump is underneath the van rather than inside the van where it can be very noisy. So under here as well is your outlet for your wastewater, for you know sinks and shower, um, which is fine if you're at a caravan park, you just hook your hose on, run it out. But if you're using this van at a national park, you're gonna need a way to catch this, or you can have the option of getting a gray water tank put in um, up the back here. They've done really well at managing the weight in this van. You can see here, I've got the spare mounted underneath, right? A lot of the time it's up the back, hanging off the back, up high or up the front. Whereas here they've got their weight down low. Now as for the caravan, to round out this little video, this caravan has been safe, it's been comfortable, it's been capable. It's been everything I could ask for. You know, like I grew up camping in tents. So to be taking my son across the country in a 22 foot caravan is mind blowing. And so I'm so grateful and yeah, I'm really excited to see what other vehicles and caravans and equipment I can test out. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Now, if you like these videos, click a like, click subscribe because it helps me to be able to continue to do this. Just a dream. Cheerios gang, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Chat soon.